Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? This is your weekend report for September 19th and 20th. I'm switching up my process a little bit as we are immutable energy, looking to um, you know maximize my efficiency here. So I'm gonna start doing these weekend reports and uh, bringing that to you guys on the weekends. And of course, keep my weekdays. We have uh, uh, the lives uh, with Julie Murphy on Mondays at 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, I'm sorry, 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Uh, Central. And I will have my live weekly energy reports on Tuesdays at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific as well. So uh, before I get in the energy reading, I wanna let you guys know that I have extended my 20% off discount for the level one and level two astrology course. So download that. It's meant to be a study guide for you to go through your own chart and going through your own chart, understanding the planets, the houses, the elements, and then level two goes into putting that all together, understanding aspects, learning how to channel these energies, and finally going into the depths of Chiron and the ascension navigation process, okay? Very exciting stuff. Um, there's about a good three and a half, four hours worth of content there. And it's meant to be like, go back, study when you're in a different emotional place, go back to that, study some more, and see where you're at and understand it from a different emotional vantage point, okay? So jump on that, uh, that click the link in my bio, or just go to spiritualbodybuilder.com, uh, and it'll also be in the, link in, the uh, link in the description box below on YouTube, okay? So what do we have going on today? Well, we have the moon conjunct Mercury in Libra that will be opposing Mars today. And then, uh, you know, so this means that, you know, we're gonna be feeling our, intellectual like our feelings in our intellect are going to be intertwined and it's going to be related to the energies of our uh, divine masculine and all this because you know with mars retrograde we're facing and looking at all these parts of our divine masculine that are maybe not functioning as efficiently as we'd like and divine masculine it does not is not a gender specific this is the energies that we all carry i know many women that have a lot of very masculine traits and that's not that's not to say that they're manly Okay, it means to say that they're the leaders or they step up and they make shit happen. They get out there into the world. They penetrate the world. Okay, they're, they take responsibility. They're good at scaffolding and structuring their lives. So what parts of your life are not scaffolded or structured in the way, ways that you really want or feel like you need? Are you compensating? Are you like, what, what, what? blockages do we have and this is really where we're taking a really close look at these blockages now at first these these blockages may come up as frustrations as just you know imbalances and feelings in the body of feeling tired of wanting to emotionally eat all these things that go along with the ascension symptoms so you know if if you are still having problems or, or issues with creating this schedule for your life because you know virgo is all about schedule and we're coming into the last few degrees of Virgo. So this energy is going to be really radiating like, wow, like, okay, it's time to do this because we're coming into, you know, cardinal energy here in the next few days. All right. So it's like the last few days of really figuring out and, you know, identifying things. That's immutable energy to identify and understand these things, these aha moments. And then once we come to that cardinal energy, it's okay. Okay. Now let's put these into practical application to make it happen. So and chances are we're going to have to be stepping into some really fundamental, deep rooted fears this weekend as, um, you know, like, for example, you could want to be going out, hanging out with your friends, like going on a lake or something like that. And as you're out, you're feeling off and you're like, Fuck, why do I just, you know, because you're neglecting something about your, the, about the structure of your life that you need to take care of in order to be able to move forward. Right. So, you know, are you doing that? Um, and if so, this moon conjunct Mercury and then, you know, the moon going through, you know, the, the rest of the third deacon of Mercury is going to be showing you your relationship to, to that. Okay. Cause you know, Libra is all about relationships, but first and foremost, your relationship to yourself, your life, your responsibility, lack thereof, all those kind of things. Okay. So uh, tomorrow we come into the moon in Scorpio. Now this is going to be opposing Uranus. So of course, Scorpio is more fixed. It's like, this is where, and the, and the sun's gonna be at 28 degrees and it's quincunx over to Mars. So this Mars retrograde energy is very predominant right now, especially because of course we have the square over to Saturn. 
And this is like, you know, it's time to get your shit together, dude. That's what the universe is saying to us all, right? So of course we want to go in the direction of the North Node, you know, connecting, creating, you know, um, collaborations, you know, speaking our truth, um, getting our passions out there and not isolating. I know, I know me, I have a tendency to want to isolate, right? When I'm tired, I'm just like, nah, I don't want to be around people. And you know, and then if you like, if you go the opposite direction, like, I don't want to be around people, but I'm going to do it. Just fuck it. You know? And then you get around people and you're like, Oh no, I'm not feeling it. Then, you know, maybe like call someone that you're really close with that you really can connect with, you know, really well, or maybe go like do a yoga class or meditate or whatever you have the option or ability to do. Um, so like, you know, go meditate or stretch instead of, you know, watching a movie. Okay. It's little modifications and alterations like this that are going to really make the biggest differences. All right. So uh, that's what this weekend is going to end. We're, uh, tomorrow we're going to be having um, uh, Venus squaring the moon too. All right. So, you know, that's like looking at, you know, how we receive now Venus and in, in, in Leo is a very powerful position because this is our heart. Like, what do we want? Like, you know, like having that, you know, motivation, let's go get it. Let's make it happen. Right. But of course, the more that this motivation is there, the more we feel whatever blockages are there. So we have to be, you know, real. This is like where we're getting really real with ourselves, guys. And just, okay, like, what is this deal? And not beating yourself up too much, but, you know, getting in touch with this deeper part of our, of our consciousness to, you know, create this life we want. And, you know, right now while we're sitting, again, this energy with Pluto and um, Saturn and even Mars and Jupiter all sitting, basically simmering. The, the energy is all sitting on the surface. So it can be a little overwhelming. All right. So if you're feeling that overwhelming, you know, self-care, self-love is very, very important, but it's active self-care, active self-love, go exercise or go do some kind of, you know, biohacking, you know, technology, if that stuff is open where you're at. Okay. And if it's not, then, you know, figure out, get, you got to get creative with this stuff, guys. Okay. So that's what I got for you for this weekend. Um, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. I'll be back on Monday with your daily energy report. And I love you guys very much. If you like a reading for me, remember, I have that new Chiron Ascension Navigation reading that is amazing for getting clarity and understanding of traversing the dark night of the soul and understanding um, how these energies are affecting you and then how you sabotage yourself by, you know, when they hit you really hard and, you know, and when we're done with the reading, I will email you um, or the recording so that you can watch it over and over and over again. When you're in the middle of going through it, it'll hit you different. It'll help you understand different parts of your, you know, reality and how you're, uh, you know, reacting as opposed to responding. And this awareness alone, you know, once you see it, once you learn it, it doesn't go away. It's there for you for good. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. I love you all. Um, and of course, I appreciate you guys liking, sharing, subscribing, um, and just supporting me all together. I'm so grateful for all my, all my subscribers and all my followers. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be here without you. And um, I'll see you on the next report. Later, guys. Namaste.